Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohima Bonsu. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So you guys know Tati Beauty released Textured Neutrals palette and a little bit later, they also released sponges. Are they called sponges? I, They're called blenderful. So I don't know if they could be classified as sponges or if they're just makeup application tools. I think they should just be called makeup application tools because I don't really know what they're, it's complicated, okay? It's all complicated, okay? And I don't know if it's a cloth or a cloth-like material. It's fuzzy, I know that much. And we were lucky enough to have Tati Beauty send it to us. So thank you so much, Tati Beauty, for sending us your second product. Um, so I'm gonna try to use that today in a look. And I'm gonna tell you guys everything I know about the sponge. I'm gonna use it. I am gonna use it in its entirety to do a skin routine. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about the sponge in the end. And I'm, I'm gonna cut up the sponge so we can see what's inside it. Cause I wanna see what's in it, okay? So yeah, that's... If I end up really liking it, I don't know if I'm gonna cut it, but my initial plan or my intention is to cut up the sponge so I can see what's in it. So if you wanna see what we can do with the Tati Beauty Blenderful, and also if you wanna see what's actually inside the sponge, then keep on watching. As I was doing my eyes, I was actually watching Tati's video on the launch of the Blenderful sponges. Are they sponges? I want to say sponges. I'm going to keep calling them sponges, okay? So this is what the packaging looks like whenever it was sent over and it says no harsh lines, exo tatty on it. There was a note that, it, that came in my package. Not here, so I can't read it for you guys. But it says blendiful. Looks very clinical, um, very minimal packaging. And so the two sponges. So the two sponges, I I went ahead and I washed both of them by hand. I didn't wash it in the machine. Um, I washed them by hand, but I'm gonna read you guys instructions on the packaging. So whenever you order, you get one big blenderful and one baby blenderful. So the cleaning instructions on the back, it says a machine wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash with warm soapy water. Rinse thoroughly and blot dry. Okay, so that's what I did. I washed it by hand and I put it back, I squeezed the water out and I put it back in here to keep it moist. It says, do not bleach, do not dry clean. It's 100% polyester, polyurethane. And because of how cold it is down here, this is cold, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start. The first sponge is like um, a guitar pick. That's the shape I see over here. Um, watching Tati, she said that you can use this to apply your pore perfecting primers. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use it with the e.l.f. Beauty Poreless Putty Primer. I'm tapping into the primer, okay? And I'm just gonna push it in just like she did in her video. So at this point, I feel like this is something that I could do with my hand or a regular sponge. I pushed in right here where my pores usually are, right? And then I'm just gonna blend, I'm just gonna like drag it on the rest of my face like I would if I were applying it with my hand. I mean, of course this is, I feel like this is softer than my hand would be. I have specks of glitter on my face because of my eyes. I don't know why I ended up with orange and gold again. I'm very interested in seeing what it would look like. Of course, when I'm applying primer, it doesn't look like it's, you know, I feel like, okay, so this was definitely made to apply primer. I'm really interested in seeing what it would look like when applying everything else. So in her video, she had the, um, the sponge bent in two, so that's what I did. And this is the side I use to apply the primer. It doesn't look bad. I mean, the, Fuzzy, the fur on it is still here. Um, if you're someone who doesn't like fuzzy things, then this one, this one will not be for you. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some more of my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. But I'm gonna apply it with a brush so that I don't mess up the base that I did with the Blendiful. Moments of truth. This is really freaking me out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my foundation and I'm putting two pumps 
uh no i'll put i'll put one pump and i'm gonna dip into this I'm not saying anything because I'm a little, I'm freaking out a little bit because I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just using it to dot the product all over my face. And of course, with a blending sponge, a regular beauty blender or a regular uh, complexion blending sponge, you would go ahead and pat it in. But she said you can glide it and it would be flawless. So I'm gonna glide it and we can see what we get in the end, okay? Because this is new. You guys. It's blending. I'm not like digging it into my skin, but it's blending quite nicely. I feel like I'm washing my face with a washcloth. Can you see what my skin looks like right now? Okay, so by habit, I'm patting it in because, you know, <laughs> it's a habit, but um, looking at this, I like the way it applies. I like, the, I like the idea of soothing, like a soothing placement or a soothing movement on your face because, you know, <sighs> I honestly thought it would move the product from my face I didn't think that it would actually place the product because swiping, you know, like the swiping motion, when you're using a brush, you're kind of like stippling it and like lightly flicking. So you're not really swiping your face. But with this product, you're swiping the product on your face, which is, it's new. I am gonna jump into a concealer. I'm still freaking out, but I'm willing to just go a little bit farther. I don't, I don't know how the sponge is gonna go. Let's blend a full this fear away, okay? I'm gonna use the other side of the bigger blend a full and I'm gonna go in. Just wish me luck, okay? Do I swipe it or do I just... Is there something pokey? Oh, I hit the stitching on it. I'm at the edge, so it's like slightly scraping, but I could just bend it a little bit more. So I'm gonna squeeze it very tightly and get under my eye. And of course I'm using both a swiping motion and a padding motion. Are you still freaked out? Cause I'm still a little bit freaked out. Um. This is where we are. This is what we got. I didn't use a lot of concealer because I did not know how this was going to blend. I'm a little bit, I'm freaking out a little bit. So I just. So did you see how quickly it blended out the product on my forehead? It's like I didn't have to go back in to make sure that it was blending nicely, but I feel like I can see a little bit of thing over here. Okay, I am gonna bend the other side of it and apply our setting powder. I am a push-in powder applier, so that's what I'm gonna do. I really like the fact that you can bend this and get like directly under your eye because that's where I have problems trying to apply my powder. Like sometimes I have to like go in a few times before I can get the powder where I want it to go. And by the way, my sponge is damp while I'm applying my makeup today because I literally just washed it. I can literally feel the the coldness of the blenderful on my face, but at the same time, it's like setting my makeup like 
it's my makeup is set because the sponge is i don't want to say wet but it's definitely not um it's definitely not dry or damp it just it has a weird feel to it i don't know how to explain it but you can see that it's definitely given my makeup like a like i said it while i'm doing it it's a very flawless looking i think it's because of the feel of it you guys my face is looking set for lack of a better word my face is set right now um let me apply a little bit more powder on my face just to hold it down i am gonna use the same powder side for the contour and for contour i'm using the juvis place chocolates palette just patting it in so the product is showing up on my face but it's not it's like blended already as I'm applying it. I don't have to lay it down and then go back in and blend it. It's giving me that flawless. Okay. I see what she meant by using this as. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. It's like, I'm not, I don't go into a review like this is going to kill it. This is going to crush it, you know, because. If I have a preconceived notion, then I might like try to bend the product to meet this outcome that I want. So whenever I'm doing a product review, I'm testing a product for the first time, I just go in and find out exactly how to use the product. And then I use the product. I don't have that harsh line I usually have whenever I blend my contour. And then I have to go back in and blend that line out. It just blended it exactly where i wanted it to blend out and it didn't give me a harsh line like you guys saw this like i was literally i'm impressed i'm impressed by the sponge i feel like you can i'm literally doing my entire skin routine with the sponge i mean with the blenderful the bigger blenderful i'll use the back side uh, yeah i'll use the back side i'm gonna use the back side to define my contour a little bit more And I'm just moving it very gently across my face. I'm not pushing in so hard. We see you, Tati. We see you, Tati Beauty. We see you. I'm gonna apply some blush. And of course, I'm using the Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 1. I feel like I don't need to... Um, what is it called? Sets my face because it looks like it's set in place already. It, 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 it already looks flawless. It doesn't look powdery. Even though I apply like a ton of powder on my face, it doesn't look powdery. It looks flawless just as it is. Like what? I'm very impressed with the contour section of my face because it blended it very nicely. It was like one fell swoop. I didn't have to, I didn't have to go back in and blend the lines and all of that good stuff so and applying the blush also you saw how very seamlessly it blended in like everything just worked very beautifully and this is what the sponge looks like on the side that i used um to blend my face and i also use a little bit of the back to go ahead and you know, apply some powder. I didn't have to. I could have probably just bent over this side and used it. So I feel like you can literally just use one flat side to do your entire face. And if you needed to, you can always just move this thing over the other way and use this side, which is which is going to be clean on on your face again. So this is what my skin looks like, guys. I have not set my face. I did not use a setting spray today. The way my face looks is a result of me using the blend, Blendiful, Blendiful, the Tati Beauty Blendiful um, Blender Sponge thing, Majig. I didn't set my face. Of course, I told you guys that I washed this before I came down, so I literally took it out of the package. I washed it with some soap and some warm water, and I squeezed the water out of it, and I put it back in the packaging just to keep it moist or preserved or whatever, okay? And I use that to apply my makeup. I didn't have to set my face 
with setting spray today because whatever the sponge did, however much water it was holding after I, uh, I washed it so I could use it, this is the result of that. I, I am impressed by what it did and how it applied. I honestly didn't know what was gonna happen because this thing is fuzzy. It looks like a fuzzy blanket, okay? But you know, the way that it performed, I am very, very, very impressed. and my nose looks in place. Like my whole makeup looks in place. Like I did, not, I did not expect a lot out of it. I know Tati loves it because she created it, but I didn't expect it to look this good or to actually work. Like, and the, thi the thing that shocks me is the, the, the streak in motion. You know, to just move it on your face like that and it actually works. This is flawless. I did not expect this at all. So yes, she's done something. I, you know, when you first look at this, you think, what the hell is this? Like, I can definitely see myself taking this with me in my bag so I can use my blotting powder and, you know, blot just like she said. But yeah, this one is firmer than this one. This one feels very, very soft. This one is a little firm. So yeah, that's, that's what we got going on, okay? I am going to cut this up now because we did use it. I told you guys I was gonna cut it. I am freaking out because I don't want to ruin the sponge. I actually like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I like it. And it's hurting me right now that I'm gonna cut it. But I told you guys I was gonna cut it. So let's go ahead and cut it and see what it's like on the inside. I also wanna see how much product it absorbed. Do you know what I mean? It's hurting me so bad that I'm gonna destroy this, but I'm literally ordering one right this very second because I need this. The fact that I didn't have to put any setting spray on my skin just I'm gonna cut it. Okay, you guys, so right now we have the setup for cutting these sponges. I am freaking out a little bit because I don't wanna cut this because it looks good. Everything is perfect on my face right now, but I said I was gonna cut it. And I'm using my tiny scissors because I can't be bothered to go upstairs and get big scissors for this. I'm gonna use my tiny scissors to cut this. cut it up jesus christ okay so i went ahead and i cut it this is the part that i used to apply my foundation and i think this this dot that i used to blend my foundation and this is the part i used to blend on my my foundation i think the spot is only from when i picked up to dot my face that's all that there is in here like there is no product it does not absorb your product Okay, let's see the other sides that I used to blend out my foundation and my concealer. Like, so this is the side I used to blend out foundation and concealer. And as you can see, this has not absorbed any of the product. All the products sat on top of the blenderful instead of having it absorb into the sponge, it sat on top of it. I'm very impressed with the sponge. I am very, very impressed with it. I am literally about to order my replacement because i effed this up so badly i didn't use this i'm not gonna cut this there's no way i'm cutting this you cannot make me cut this i'm not cutting this i'm gonna put it in my bag but this is it this is this is the side i used okay and this is what it looks like on the inside no product no product i am impressed with the application of the sponge and i'm also impressed with what it looks like on the inside because a full face and the only product that seeped through was the part that i dotted into the product to up uh, to put spots on my face with that is impressive so the claims of this giving you an airbrushed look is real i've tried it i love it i haven't set my face and my face still looks flawless but that's just how it happened thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below in the comments if you're gonna pick it up i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye